Now in this session we're going to look at the high-low method. The high-low method is used when we're dealing with semi-variable costs and it enables us to estimate um, a cost at a particular given level of output. Now semi-variable cost increases as output increases but even when output is zero, we would still expect to incur a certain level of cost. We can say that a semi-variable cost is in fact um, a fixed cost and a variable cost combined. And the high-low method is one way that we can use to identify these two cost elements. Now often with costs, whether they're semi-variable or variable, um, the link between output and cost is not perfect. It's not a, a perfectly straight line. So for instance, on the graph, we can see that we've got something of a wavy line from, uh, from our data points, but there is a definite relationship there. We can see that as output increases, costs tend to increase but we don't know what exactly what the relationship between output and costs are. It might be described by the green line, or it might be described by the red line. We need some method um, to actually establish this particular relationship, which we can then use in order to estimate our semi-variable costs at particular levels of output. Now with the high-low method, we take the same set of data, but this time what we do is we ignore everything other than the highest and lowest levels of output. And then once we've done that, we assume that our semi-variable cost will go straight through both our highest and lowest levels of output. So let's have a look at how this works in practice. So I've got an example. A business thinks that its delivery costs are a semi-variable costs. So it analyzes its delivery costs over, say, six months against the number of deliveries made each month. So our number of deliveries, that's our units or output. And here I've got a table showing the uh, different months, the number of monthly deliveries, and the associated costs. And so we're going to use the high-low method, first of all, to establish what the fixed cost element is and the variable cost elements are. As, and then we'll use it to estimate how much 3,500 deliveries in a month is going to cost. Well, the first thing we do is we look at our table of data and we establish which, um, in which periods the highest monthly deliveries or highest output occurred and when the lowest output occurred. So if we look at this table, we can see that in May we had the highest number of monthly deliveries. So we're going to use May's figures. We're also going to use January's figures, as that's got the lowest level of monthly deliveries, or lowest output. So now we've established that, we can then start calculating our variable cost per unit. So first of all, I'm going to set up a little table. I'm going to take my high values, and then underneath I'm going to record my low values. And finally, I'm going to work out the difference. So there I'll work out the difference between the um, number of monthly de de deliveries between the high and low values, as well as the difference between the costs. And there I can see that I've got a difference of 440 deliveries, and that costs £2,640. I can now use that information to calculate my variable cost per delivery. 
So I will take the difference in cost of 2,640 and divide that by 440 units or deliveries. I've now, I now know that my variable cost per delivery is six pounds. What I've yet to calculate is what my fixed cost per delivery is. But I know that the total cost for May is 30,120, and that includes my variable cost of 3,745 deliveries and the fixed costs. So if I know my total variable cost, I can calculate the fixed cost. Well, my total variable cost is £6 per delivery times my 3,745 deliveries. Overall, my variable cost for May was uh, 22,470. Now if I take that away from my total cost of 30,120, that gives me my f fixed cost. And there it's 7,650. I now know both my variable cost per unit and my fixed costs per month. So what I can now do is I can estimate the cost of 3,500 deliveries. Now that we've established what our fixed and variable cost elements are, we can calculate or forecast the delivery costs for 3,500 deliveries. First of all, we're going to incur a fixed cost, and we've calculated that at £7,650. We'll also incur a variable cost, and this will be uh, based on £6 per delivery. So for 3,500 deliveries, our variable cost will be £21,000. If we add those two t figures together, we can then get our total cost of £28,650. And that is our estimate of the delivery costs for those 3,500 deliveries. We've therefore used the high-low method in order to establish what our variable cost per unit was, our fixed cost, and then use those amounts in order to calculate or forecast um, the total cost for a given level of activity. And that's the high-low method.